I couldn't count the number of times I've been told that we can't absorb vitamin B12 from supplements as well as we can from meat, and this was most recently suggested by the latest video from What I've Learned, Trashing on Vegan Diets. This isn't to say it's impossible to get enough B12 from supplements. Perhaps some people simply need to take more of them, or a different type. A B12 supplement might not work quite the same as animal-derived B12. What if they work better? Here we have a study that enrolled six-month-old infants from high-poverty areas of China and randomized them to consume 50 grams of pork, 20 grams of a nutrient-fortified breakfast cereal, or 20 grams of an unfortified breakfast cereal per day. The pork and fortified breakfast cereals contain about 0.2 micrograms of vitamin B12 per serving, and all three foods provided 80 calories per serving. Of course, the vitamin B12 in the fortified cereal is essentially a supplement. And after 12 months, while the meat did increase vitamin B12 relative to the unfortified cereal group, the fortified cereal actually increased B12 the most. And the children in both the meat and fortified cereal groups ended up with similar homocysteine levels and similar cognitive scores. So the supplemental B12 was as good or better than the natural B12. And research on people with vitamin B12 deficiencies due to gastrointestinal diseases like Crohn's disease where they can't absorb much B12 from food like meat suggests that supplements can correct the deficiencies. And oral supplements can work about as well as injecting the B12 for most people. So the idea that supplements don't work is complete nonsense. 